I'd like to provide a content warning for a brief mention of suicide. Dear God, it's me, Maddie. I know it's been a while since we've spoken, but steeples and stained glass aren't exactly conversation pieces for people who identify in the rainbows of light that shine through them. No optical illusion, I'm sorry. <laughs> I always giggle during prayers. But laughter is the best medicine when you don't know why you're hurting, and when you're hurting, it always feels like you never stopped. I feel bad that I couldn't memorize the melodies of my Methodist upbringing, but I promise I was never trying to upset you. When seven days a week turned into seven deadly sins, I saw nothing left of myself that deserved to go to heaven or VBS or Sunday school. And when we read Leviticus, I wondered how you could make a mistake on me how the Holy Bible had a hold on my throat, and when exactly pretty girls became perversion. I thought nothing was holier than love until I started loving the wrong way for scripture, so I wanted to ask you, if evilness is learned, why was I born this way? No Lady Gaga, just gay. And are you sure you really made straight people? Why did two men laying down together scare everyone so bad? Why is it usually your biggest fans who boo my existence? Like, did you give them consent to condemn me? Am I preaching to the choir by choosing a slim audience to confess my sins to? I always believed more in poem than in prayer. And maybe talking to you felt like a waste of breath because baptisms never included snapping. You never showed me a sign that you're here. Just threw me off track by making me queer and I'd be lying if I said I wasn't pissed at you. You know your son spent his time on earth with hookers and thieves rolled 12 deep with men who've done much worse than me, so be honest. Would you really be disgraced if I held her hand in your presence? If you didn't want me to like women, why would you make them so perfect? I would much rather lay down palm leaves for them than whoever that white guy is with the long brown hair who hangs in the hallways of churches who haven't accepted the melanin in their messiah quite yet. By the way, could you let some of your straighter children know that you don't like them any more than the rest of us? And you can hear the way they talk about me as if it wasn't their belief that I was one of your creations to begin with. Did you know that my voice never shakes when I say your name in vain because I'm pretty sure you wouldn't even remember mine. And I felt like we've had beef for a while. I've been so afraid of being forgotten that I tried to meet up with you a couple of times, but you never answered my calls. Always left me undelivered. How can you deliver this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses if we give glory to you from a trap house or a pride parade? Does it really matter who we love as long as you're a part of the picture? I know you low-key be painting the sky for us right after it rains, as if you're paying homage to the ones you've taken home already. You know, we flood to you four times faster than straight folk when suicide sends us there. I've heard you work in mysterious ways, and I've been collecting my clues like Easter eggs for 18 years without coming to any conclusion, so now I feel like it's your turn to say something. 